I am in Geneva, Indiana at Limberlost State Historic Site. This is one of the few state historic sites I've never been to before and this was the home of uh, the author and naturalist Gene Stratton Porter. So uh, we're gonna go take a tour. Welcome to the Limberlost. This is pretty neat because they have their own visitor center. Jean Stratton Porter was a very important and famous author in the early 20th century, although she isn't so well known now. This is the original Geneva Bank vault. Her husband owned the bank along with just about every other business in town. She became known as the Bird Woman of the Limberlost while living here. These dolls depict the girls of Limberlost based off the specific details of their appearance in Jean's story. J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, is a fan of Jean Stratton Porter. This building out front was a carriage house. There's an old carriage. Inside the gatehouse is the room of the Porter's longtime gardener and caretaker, John Brenner. He was a Civil War veteran, and he lived in here from age 60 to his death at age 82. This is the old water pump with the carriage house in the background. The Limberlost cabin was built in 1895, and it's a rather large and impressive cabin in the Queen Anne style, and it has 14 rooms. The exterior is built of Wisconsin white cedar logs, and the upper shingles are made from California redwood. Out front there's an old well that they sealed up. The Porters drew inspiration from the forestry building at the 1893 Columbian Exposition in Chicago, which they visited. The first floor of the home is preserved, and the interior is really just as beautiful as the exterior. This room was Jean's study. The desk is very interesting. It's not hers, but it belonged to another famous Hoosier author, Booth Tarkington, who lived in Indianapolis. They were both well-known authors around the same time, and he is one of only three authors to ever win the Pulitzer Prize for fiction more than once. There is much of Jean's original collection of taxidermy, flowers, books, and arrowheads in this room. Jean was born in 1863 in Wabash County, Indiana, and as a child she became very interested in the local birds and nature. This was before most of northern Indiana was cleared for agriculture. Her family would frequent the Sylvan Lake Chautauqua, and it was at one of these events that she caught the attention of Charles Darwin Porter, a druggist at the time who was also significantly older than her. And after a few years, they were married in 1886. He had a lot of business success, first in Decatur, Indiana, and then they moved here to Geneva. And in both towns, he owned drug stores, farms, a hotel, a restaurant, the bank, and owned about 60 oil wells around here. So they were loaded. This allowed Jean to do basically whatever she wanted and Charles did respect her interests. 
She would write several books that would make her world famous while living here, including Freckles in 1904 and A Girl of the Limberlost in 1909. These bestsellers took place in the surrounding Limberlost Swamp, which surrounded Geneva and covered 13,000 acres. It was a wetland with high biodiversity and was frequented by lots of local and migrating birds. The gas line of the valve was here and the line was under the floor. So you can turn on the gas, you can lift your lighter there the fireplace. Jean would regularly go into the swamp, spend all day often by herself, which was a very odd thing for a woman to do at the time, and she would hike and study the flora and fauna. However, this wouldn't last forever, as at the same time of her residency here, the swamp was almost entirely drained. The increase of land needed for agricultural development along with the oil wells, many of which Charles owned, caused the swamp to nearly disappear by 1910. Since the state took over the property and the former swamp land, there has been much effort to restore the Limberlost, and it has been in many ways successful, and you can today hike around the swamp. Unfortunately, I didn't really have time to do that. These items belong to Jean, that's one of her necklaces. Jean was also a painter. This was an original butterfly taxidermy display she made, so it's over a hundred years old now. Some of the butterflies have not held up, but overall it's probably as well preserved as it can be. As Jean's Limberloss was destroyed, she needed another location for inspiration and to hike and to enjoy, so she moved to Sylvan Lake, about 70 miles northwest of Geneva in 1912, and as the porters were very wealthy, she was able to build a new home for herself, the cabin at Wildflower Woods on the lake. That is now Jean Stratton Porter State Historic Site, and I also have a video on that home and the history of her life after Limberloss. Jean was very often gone at that home and Charles remained here and in Decatur to continue work and then they sold the cabin officially in 1923. She took up the hobby of photography which was increasingly available to the wealthy and that is her box camera. The home also has a conservatory, which Jean very much enjoyed. Inside the kitchen, she would often hang her negatives up to develop. And this small town 1895 cabin did have plumbing. It's a pretty amazing house. It's a really interesting stone fence along here, along with a variety of wildflowers. Jean had these holes made in the fence so that squirrels and critters could get through. So that was Limberlost, a uh, really great house, really interesting, definitely uh, more than I thought it would be. Also a uh, very kind staff here. I do also have a video at the other home that she lived in, in uh, Rome City, Indiana, the Gene Stratton Porter State Historic Site, so check out that video. I have a bunch of videos at house museums, other museums, roadside attractions, national parks, uh, so please go check those videos out, and thanks for watching. Also, a bonus clip here in Geneva, I found a bunch of old Studebakers for sale.